In 2020, Autodesk announced that they'd become a member of the Open Design Alliance, a non-profit technology consortium specialising in improving support and access to design file formats. They've also gained IFC certification for reference views for architecture and structures and now in 2022 this also includes the building services. In Revit 2022 you will now see the Autodesk Home button where you can navigate to your project saved in both Autodesk Docs and BIM 360 Docs as well as having the ability to open and save cloud models directly from the applications menu. In Revit 2022, it now sports the ability to export schedules as CSV format files, so you no longer need to convert a TXT file to CSV to open directly into Excel, with no manipulation needed, which is a time saver when you're exporting your schedules from Revit. Here I have a schedule inside Revit. Let's export it. If I go to the File menu, Export, and then scroll down, you'll see here I've got Reports. I'm going to select Schedule. Now this is giving me the option to download this file you'll see here as a CSV file. Click Save. I can set the export settings. I'm going to leave these as default for now. Click OK. The file is now downloaded. Here's the file on screen. If I double click on it, you will see it opens directly in Excel. I can then select the fields, extend them out, and now I have my schedule directly in Excel. In Revit 2022, we now have improvements to tags. We can rotate tags by any angle we specify easily through the properties window. We can now add multi-leader tags to elements within inside the model. This allows us to apply a single tag to multiple elements to indicate quantity desired. Once the tag is placed, we can simply select other host elements within the view. We also have the ability to apply tags to curtain wall mullions with inside our model. So I'm literally going to go in here and place a tag on this furniture. Now what you'll see when we've placed the tag, it's displaying as shown. I can simply go into the properties and change the angle parameter to 25 degrees and it will rotate around. And again, if I just change the value to say 90 degrees, you can see it's flipped it around even further. Now, the other great feature that you'll notice we'll have, if I go and place a tag, I don't need to necessarily go around and place a tag on every single element, which can be a long-winded process. I can simply now select the tag I've just placed and we have this add slash remove host. So I can literally select the number of hosts were to place the tag to. And now you can see here, if I just adjust the tag itself, you can see we now have a tag which is going to these three elements, which are the same. So now let's look at placing our tags onto our curtain wall mullions. First of all, I need to go into an elevation view, selecting the tag, and you'll see if I hover over, it's placed the tag. Now one thing you'll notice as I hover over, it's not actually placing another tag. I need to unselect the add and remove host. So now I can place, oops, get my cursor in the right place, and you'll see I can place the tag onto the mullion, just like that. Now in Revit 2022, you have the ability to turn grid lines on in your 3D view. This allows the user to go into the properties window and select the show grids parameter to then have access to the levels in which they wish to turn on. Here's a simple 3D view in this model. If I go into the properties window, you will see here under show grids, if I select the edit, this opens up a dialog box which allows us to pick the grid lines on specific levels. Once I've selected the levels I wish to choose and click OK, you'll now notice they display in the view and I can zoom in and see the grid lines shown. This is a great feature to help navigating around the model to understand the location of which the information is displayed. Mm -hmm.